This is the weirdest question on the SAT. Find the value of x in the diagram. Easy. Look, we got an x up here, and both these triangles look the same, like a mirror, so x must be the same as p. 35, it's p! Wait, there's also an x down here, and q is 65, but that's not even an answer. Uh, brain blast. Okay, let's just focus on this left triangle. We don't know this angle, but all these must add up to 180. So 35 plus 65 plus x must equal 180. So this is 80. Okay, and if that's 80, then this is also 80 because they're vertical angles. But how do we find x? Well, this triangle also has to add up to 180. So 80 plus x plus x equals 180. We can smash these two x's together. So 80 plus 2x equals 180. Subtract the 80. So 2x equals 100. Divide by 2 and there it is, x equals 50, it's D. Want more SAT hacks? Comment 1600 down below. A equals negative two, then A plus A squared minus A cubed plus A raised to the fourth power minus A raised to the fifth power equals to one. Okay, so since we're given the value of A, which is negative two, we can just plug in negative two for A in this expression. So first let's write down some powers of negative two. So negative two raised to the first power is just negative two and then negative two squared is equal to a negative two times negative two which is positive four and then negative two raised to the third power is going to be negative eight since we multiply negative two with four so then negative two raised to the fourth power is going to be equal to positive 16 and then negative two raised to the fifth power is going to be equal to negative 32. so now let's solve so a again is negative two plus a squared, which is negative two squared, is four minus a cubed, which is minus negative eight. So that's going to be minus negative eight here. And then plus a raised to the fourth power, so negative two raised to the fourth power, which is 16, minus a raised to the fifth power, which is going to be minus negative 32. So now we have some negatives here. So we should know that two negatives make a positive. So this becomes negative two plus four plus eight plus 16 plus 32. So now let's add these things together. So negative two plus four is going to be two, two plus eight is 10, 10 plus 16 is going to be 26, and then we have 26 plus 32, which is equal to 58. So this is our answer. So if you look at our answer choices, our answer is D.